Hello everyone. Today is Friday, April 24th. Welcome to my back porch. As promised, I am back to share with you my stitch 10 and 20 challenge pieces. I participated in um, Farm Girls Stitch 9 in 19 stitch challenge and completed that and I hope that I will be able to complete the stitch, stitch 10 and 20. My first project to show you is by um, with thy needle and thread called the potting the potting shed and this was a mania 2017 start and I'm happy to report that I have completed this. This is stitched on 40 count R&R sheep straw using the call for threads uh, stitched one over two. My next challenge piece that I selected is called Bee Study by Kathy Barrick. And this piece is stitched on 40 count Zebra Dove by Vicki Clayton with NPI silks. And it was also a 2017 Mania start, and I completed this one. The third piece that I selected for the challenge is called Kindred Spirits, and it is by The Primitive Needle, no longer in print, I'm afraid. And it will look something like this. It is stitched on 40 count doubloon by Picture This Plus using Belsois silks. And I've also have a completion on this piece. The fourth piece that I chose is by Heartstring Samplery called B is for Beekeeper. This piece is stitched on 36 count Picture This Plus Legacy using the Call For Threads stitched one over two as well and I have another completion. That was a 2018 Mania start. My fourth choice for the challenge was a gift from Abby Bella, who was also a stitch along with Abby. She completed hers long before I did, though well, I haven't finished mine. And it's called The Old Mill by Blackbird Designs. I am stitching this one on 30 count espresso with the call for gentle arts and classic color works. I do not have A completion still a work in progress and I have just a little under here that you can't see but hopefully that will be finished soon the next uh, item was a gift from Rebecca 
uh, hedgerow stitching called Pattern Pretties by Jeanette Douglas. It came as a kit and I have not even started working on this one yet. Oops. But here's the progress that I have. I think it actually goes some like this, but it doesn't matter. Number seven, another with thy needle and thread called In Santa Claus Land. And this one is being stitched on 40 count jackalope, another Vicki Clayton fabric. And I'm using the called for threads on this one as well. I, I love this piece. And I can't wait to get back to that piece. Number eight. Oh, when did I start? I started Pattern Pretties. Well, let's back up. The Old Mill, I started in 2017. <laughs> Pattern Pretties was a Mania 2017 start, and In Santa Claus Land was also a 2017 Mania piece. I'm trying to go, when I chose these, I was trying to go back and select some of my older pieces to, to complete. That's why there seems to be a 2017 theme going on here. But then I moved on to, um, a newer piece called Buttermilk and Blue Sampler Sewing Bag by Stacy Nash. And I am stitching this piece on 32 count weeks dye work parchment using the call for thread. Uh, well, no, these are wools. The call for wools by Gentle Arts. And here is my progress. As you can see, I had to do some reverse stitching here. But I love this piece. I can't wait to get back to it. The wools are nice to stitch with if you've never stitched with them before. Um, they're very easy and you only use one strand even on the 32 count. Number nine will be a new start, and this is a gift from a viewer, Myra, and I am really looking forward to starting this. It's The Old Oak Tree by Early Workings, and I will stitch it using the call for threads, which are DMCs. And my final mania piece, uh, not mania piece, um, challenge piece is also a new start. It is not cross stitch. It is um, wool applique and it's called Folk Art Sampler by Threads That Bind. And now, honestly, I can't remember if I'm doing the pillow or the bird. I think I'm doing the bird. I have the kit. Yes, I'm doing the crow mat. I picked this up in Iowa at the Woolen Needle. And I'm so looking forward to going back there in November and this is the kit with all the wool 
And that should be a fun piece to do. I love wool FK. So that is my stitch 10 and 20 um, update. I, if you were counting, I have what four, four of the 10 completed. This year's challenge run is running from February 2020 to February 2021. So I have lots of time still, uh, especially I won't get much done this next month because I'll be stitching mania pieces and I will be back in a few days hopefully with what those mania plans are. I hope you're all well. I hope you were able to hear me back here on the back porch. It's kind of a gloomy day, but I just felt like I needed to get outside and get some fresh air. So I hope that you are all well, you are all getting stitching done and staying healthy. Until next time, I wish you well.